Afternoon YouTube, it's your boy Leon, I'm Tim Kudu, the South African Geek, welcome to my channel, about to dive right into Crypto in episode 5, this is a great episode, it really dawned on the house of Zod, Zod, my bad, I don't know why I said Zod, but the house of Zod, it was a homage to the legacy house of Zod has, seeing it through Lights' mother, Lights' mother had a weird upbringing, but I guess it was normal to Krypton culture, it was just crazy. Let's talk about also uh, Zeg going through this whole survival thing, the whole episode, running to that girl he saved. Then you also had to deal with Lyta going through her trial, having a sweet moment with a parapetite, um, where they laughed together, where they even shared a kiss, so she confessed she does love him. But I don't think she's in love with him, so like Zeg. Um, uh, we also got a moment with Adam Strange and Zeg's friend. I have to learn that dude's name. They also had a moment where they were looking for Zeg. Like time was of the essence with it. Didn't I, I, am I tripping? But did Adam Strange have a, a moment where he was admiring another dude naked, or was I tripping? Um, Nissa and her father also kind of had a showdown this episode on who knows what's best for their future plans. It was a moment, yo. Like, this show is just fantastic. You also met the ice goddess of Krypton. And she detested the House of L because they're hiding something. And somebody told me it, it could be Doomsday or some shit like that. And I'm excited. Um... Again, I always done on this every episode, but the production design. They just have some amazing establishing shots in the show. Another moment I did not expect is the relationship uh, Nessa's mother had with that girl who shot that unarmed uh, civilian. Like, that relationship was out of nowhere. The fight scenes got better in this episode until that moment where Lighter was doing like, some weird... 80s dancing martial arts moment alone in her prison um there was also a moment where uh they had a flashback again of uh Lita's mom as she became azad when she had to sacrifice her brother first she wanted to live with her brother but her brother did some messed up shit and he was like, you can't leave me. I was like, dude, you just try to kill your sister. Then you're going to say, she can't leave you. That was savage. Then I uh, liked his mother's decision. When she's like, you're my greatest love. Now you're my greatest regret. Uh, even the production design again, like the costumes and everything. How capes are just part of their lives. I wish like my life could just be have a cape for no reason. That's probably why I like wearing jackets so much and baggy ass ones. Mm, what has happened in this episode? Uh, Lida got free because of his, her mother helping her. Let's talk about Lida's mother's father. That dude was savage. He, one of his children didn't come back home and it's like, huh, don't worry about him. I was like, God damn, it seemed like he didn't even have a problem with the fact that he just sent one of his kids to his death, like, that's so messed up. Then we got the whole bracelet thing. I like the di directors or stories that show you an object that has significant importance, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what else happens? Um, another trippy moment is when she was fighting with her current brother, when they kind of showed you that he's really dead. When they showed you that he was just a program because she was fighting her older version of her brother the whole beginning sequence and you thought this dude somehow survived but the trial of Zod rescues the loser or some shit just that they don't get the, the Zod name but no, you know, it was like a, a program. Zeke almost died, he got rescued uh, by the Black Order dude who happened to be Lydas. Fucking son. Yo, that was the most trippy moment out of the whole episode, actually. It's like, it's you. I'm your son. I was like, what? What? I wonder how that's gonna happen, and I'm about to react 
to the promo for the next episode to see how they're gonna down on the next episode so just gonna dive right in um yeah this is a key moment in history general zod superman's greatest enemy we need to kill him now it's general it's zod time you knew it you said no sir. you cannot trust this man you still have no idea about the society you helped your father create and your true place within it People of Candor, I am here to save you. Oh. The only way to fight for any is with a weapon that is unkillable. It is to be dead. It's about to get lit. It's about to get lit. Oh my god, it's about to get lit. It was General Zod. So they basically define that the Zod family is black <laughs> in this show. Like, I, 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 I can fucks with that. I can fucks with that. <laughs> Deuces, hope you like my review and reaction to the promo for the next episode. Uh, subscribe to the channel.